Everybody, welcome to Santa Clarita's real estate market update. Today's going to be day 284 of 2024. That's October 10th of 2024. What we're going to talk about today, along with the actual local inventory breakdown, we're going to be touching on some key national headlines and how they relate to the market here in Southern California. But first, let me get into the daily real estate inventory. So currently in Santa Clarita Valley, this is going to include all the cities, Canyon Country, Castaic, New Hall, Saga, Stevenson Ranch, and Valencia. Coming soon listings, nine. This is posted in the past seven days. 72 new listings have entered the market. 57 properties have had their prices changed. 28 properties have gone back on market. 39 have gone into escrow. 44 have gone deeper into escrow. 61 have closed. That means actually sold. Six have expired. 10 canceled. Eight put on hold. Two have withdrawn. So that gives us, as of today, the 10th of October, 537 active residential real estate listings for sale in Santa Clarita Valley. And we're seeing steady movement across all the price ranges. But let's look at some of the national trends that could impact your buying and selling decisions. So <clears throat> people always want the best deal. Buyers want to get the best deal on the house. Sellers want to get the most money for the house. Pretty much that's kind of the rule of thumb for everyone. Exceptions, of course. Don't know where they are, but they exist. Because of that, everybody wants a good deal. But here's some things to consider. Over the past year, mortgage rates have dropped from a peak of over 8% to today's average of 6.25%. So according to recent reports, while it may be tempting to wait for those rates to drop even further, there are three big risks associated with waiting. Number one, more competition, lower rates mean more buyers are going to also choose that time to enter the market. That leads to the increased competition. Here in Santa Clarita, we're already seeing properties get snapped up pretty quick. For example, we have a property in the Plum Canyon area, one on Benson uh, Drive in Saugus, and that one sold very, very quickly. Actually, it sold within a day, despite the higher price points, but as, raise, as rates fall, this trend could tend to accelerate even faster. Number two would be fewer concessions. When the competition amongst buyers rise, sellers become less likely to offer concessions such as credits for closing costs or repairs. If you're hoping to negotiate for repairs or a better deal, acting now when competition is a bit more manageable might be better. Higher prices would be number three. While we may not see the frenzied market of 2021 and 2022, if you remember, Experts expect that as rates continue to drop, home prices will rise steadily. For example, if you're looking at a $400,000 home out here, that would be a townhouse or a condo. Today, that would be at $400,000 today. Next year, it could be four fifty dollars or maybe more. How these new rules with real estate commissions affect buyers and sellers. This is something that's very worth discussing. Nationwide changes to real estate commission rules have recently shifted expectations. In Santa Clarita, this could impact both buyers and sellers. Sellers, previously sellers would often pay both their own agent's commission and part of the buyer's agent's commission, if not all of it. Now this practice is no longer the default. As a seller, you have more negotiation room regarding how much how commissions are going to be handled. So that could lead to potential savings, but it depends on the agent you select. It also depends on how fast you want the property sold. And these are all different variables that are very much worth discussing. Any agent worth their salt will bring those up. Buyers, if you're a buyer, you want to have detailed conversations with your agent about commission fees up front. The new rules mean you need to understand exactly how your agent is compensated and whether the seller is covering any of those costs. What this means for Santa Clarita, in Santa Clarita, these new commission rules may require buyers to do more research before even starting their home search. I always advise my clients to understand the terms fully and interview multiple agents if necessary, making sure the agent you choose is experienced and transparent about their fees. In this competitive market, working with the right agent can make all the difference. New builds versus existing homes. A tight market exists here in Santa Clarita Valley. Nationally, we're seeing new build homes and existing homes selling for nearly the same price. This trend is particularly relevant in Santa Clarita, where many homeowners are locked into low mortgage rates and are reluctant to list, tightening the existing home supply. 
This creates unique opportunities for new builds, which can offer perks like upgraded fixtures, energy efficiency, and in some cases, mortgage rate buy-downs from builders. That's also available from a regular seller as well. For example, if you're considering buying in newer developments like Plum Canyon, Fair Oaks Ranch, you might find that new construction homes are somewhat competitively priced against older properties. There is a way to know for sure if that's actually the case. I teach that in my buyer briefing or my buyer roll call for my new buyers. It's a very simple system that shows you how price per square foot is going to be what you're going to need to look at. The decision between a new build and a resale home is no longer as straightforward as it used to be. That's why you need your own agent with you before you visit any new housing builder. Make sure your agent's by your side. Let them take you on a tour. They'll point it all out. Buyers with mortgage rates down now may be the best time to lock in a home before prices rise and competition intensifies. If you're considering a new build, keep an eye out for builder incentives like mortgage rate buy-downs or fee upgrades. While these sound great, you need to see what those cost. And if the seller's going to pick up the tab, maybe that money might be better used elsewhere. For sellers out there, while prices are steady now, competition amongst buyers is likely to heat up as, raised, as rates drop. Listing your home before the rush could help you attract more serious buyers while potentially negotiating favorable terms. It's really going to come down to the bottom line of you and having that best market for you. While in some cases, sellers think that the best market is when there's so many buyers out there, such high competition rate, that's where the best market is. In a lot of cases, that's not the best market because when you have buyers that are competing at that high of a level, so understand this, they're, those buyers, if that market is that highly competitive, they're not just looking at your residents. They've looked at many. And if they get to a point of overbidding somebody on your house by a massive margin bigger than you've had anybody overbid or maybe setting a new trend for that area, that means that buyer has been through this a lot and they're not going to take it anymore. And they don't care what it takes to get this house. They're not going to be outbid. And that's great for you. The problem is usually that buyer reaction is emotionally driven. So what ends up happening is they put all this emotion into it. They tell everybody, come hell or high water, now is my day. I will get my revenge or whatever. So anyway, they go and they put their best foot forward and they do. And they offer a lot of money to that seller. Great. They do their inspections. Maybe they get the appraisal. Maybe the appraisal report comes back and says, you know, unfortunately, we can't appraise that $100,000 more than it was listed for if they even see those figures. But bottom line, how the report's going to come back from the appraisal is the appraiser, they're going to say, yeah, we just can't get there. This is what we'll loan on this home, but not this amount, which is the extra hundred plus hundred thousand dollars, let's say. That being the case, then what ends up happening? It was very emotional when the offer was made. Now that we're having a hiccup. And even though the buyer said absolutely 100%, I will pay you the difference between the appraised value and my what I offered. I'll pay that to you in cash. I'll inject the deal. Even though they signed that, if there's some other contingency they can fall on to get out of that escrow, they might do that. And whether you have legal recourse or not, that's all attorneys to unpack there. But... If there's a reason they want to get out, although maybe the world would say, well, of course, they used the reason not realizing that there was a crosswalk, you know, 500 feet from their house, that reason as the reason to get out. But we all know that they actually started to think about it and probably had somebody that's close to them make a comment like, oof, you paid $100,000 more? Wow, must be some house. Well, that and compilation with the other things yeah that changes things so having said that that market that you might think is best for you as a home seller being that super fast paced it does carry with it some uh, some roller coaster events i'm connor with thank you for watching we will be back tomorrow with our daily santa creator real estate show 
please, when you're ready, reach out to me. You can find everything at SantaCreateOpenHouses.com. Have uh, going to be active in the open house this weekend. Look for the signs, Santa Creed Open Houses signs, the green arrow. But I want you to, I want to see SantaCreateOpenHouses.com right here. This is my, my main system. So this is what you get where you go to the home page. When you get here, scroll down, there's another one. And then you're going to see all the current scheduled open houses so far happening in Santa Creed Valley. So we're click here. Let's say what we got this morning. So as of right now, 99, we have 99 open houses that are scheduled for this weekend here in Santa Creed Valley. So we have one here on Balsam Court in Valencia. So these are, these are all of them. Be able to go through and see every single open house that's posted here for sale. And occasionally you will get this. So you're here at the homepage and you're kind of looking around you're like oh that mountain on a motorcycle and then this must be the mall and this must be golden valley i think those are both golden valley but then you're going to get a pop-up i'm trying to get a pop-up there's going to be something that comes up here that's going to say hey you know can i help you you want your own account those sorts of things and you, there's an x in the corner of it so you click it and you can then go through and look at everything and this is all not just open houses for sale, but if you want to see just the regular inventory, what's actually for sale, you can very much, very much do that. And then you go here for every Santa Cruz home for sale, and then you're going to see them all right here. And then I, I like to post these up newest first instead of having it, you know, going some other way. I like this newest houses first. And if you're searching in a particular price range, then you could go on there and you could search for those price ranges, newest listing first. And then there's also a lot of other filters there. But that's the current inventory here in Santa Clarita Valley at www.santaclaritaopenhouses.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Connor with Honor. Over now.